Hello, uh, Jim Howard here in Fort Worth, Texas. Today's date, it is May 23rd of 2017. This is just going to be a little short update and no political raving and ranting. So my conservative friends uh, can feel safe for today, for this video. Uh, I mentioned in Oh, by the way, I've got some new shades. They came today and put some new shades in. So this is also sort of a test to see about lighting. Of course, it's uh, 6.40 p.m. But I'll see how they... Uh, I've got everything arranged in my room, except for I've got a tremendous amount of stuff that I have no place to put. But I've got the desk and things arranged, but uh, I don't want to move them. Especially with my head, anytime I do anything, bend over, lay down, bend over, smile or yawn. Yawn really hurts. Uh, so I don't want to be dragging these desks around, but that might be some really good lighting. But I'm not sure it should be behind me. I, I should think I should, might have to turn the desk. And have that lighting coming on during the on me during the daytime. Uh, or about the head, it uh, still hurts, and it kind of itches. But I think it's a sign that it's healing, and the uh, redness is greatly reduced. Today's the twenty third in seven days. I have to see two doctors that day, and. Uh, Wanted to have an echocardiogram done in my heart. That's the heart doctor's going to have that done. I was actually down there a week or so ago, and he sent me over in the cardiac uh, office to have it done then. And he said, "Well, in two weeks, don't contact us for two weeks. But in two weeks, we will we will get you the re send you the results of the." thing because we haven't done one on your heart since you had the pacemaker put in and uh, so I went over and of course to that department and they said oh well you have to come back in two weeks because we have to get your insurance company to approve it so I got to go back so when I had my head opened up here and this little tiny cancer taken out well they didn't open my skull up I mean they but uh, I had to go back to have the stitches out. So I said, can you do it on the 30th? So I'll be, the problem is one appointment's 10 in the morning and the other appointment to have the stitches out is 2.45. Uh, maybe I'll go to the, or the hospitals connected to the one, the cardiac uh, office. I could go there and have lunch and eat real, real, real slow and then walk over to the dermatologist and have the stitches come out. Uh, one of you counted the number of stitches, said that there's 28. I didn't ask the doctor how many stitches. Of course, that's just ones that show. There's ones under that that are going to dissolve that, uh, that uh, don't show. So... Uh, I like the lighting right now, even though it's behind me. Um, I've got, I, I mentioned that I wanted to do a giveaway every month. And I mentioned that the reason I want to do that, well, what I want to do is get, uh, this is what, you can see that starting in 2009, 2009 I uh, was set up with Amazon as an associate and could, uh, if I used a link or somebody, if somebody used a link, I would uh, get some commission. And they owe me for this uh, month or next month $24. That's about, you can see, of course, in the beginning it was, and now it's got to the point where it's about $24 a month. Well, not really. Well, 
so uh, what I want to do is get that commission up to $500 a month. Uh, maybe that's a unreachable goal for me, but I want to do that. If you purchase anything from Amazon and you use my link, I get a commission. It doesn't cost you anything. Uh, if I can get it up to a hundred dollars a month, that's my goal right now in commissions, then every month I will give away something. I have a, I have a drawing. And Amazon, I've mentioned this before, Amazon takes care will take care of that. I can just pick out the item and pay for it. And then I set up some things that they, you know, that you have to click on something. You have to watch a video or something, something like that. I'm going to make it very easy and very simple. But, uh, so I'll do one here pretty quick, even though I haven't, even though I'm not making a hundred dollars a month and so we can kind of test it out and see how it see how it works out and then my goal is to so please use the amazon link when you see it yeah in these youtube videos if there's something down below usually if it's an amazon uh if there's an amazon link i usually get a commission but you can see i don't get very much and uh I have just set up this. Actually, I didn't set it up. I just paid on Fiverr, uh, which I've used before, F-I-V-E-R-R.com. They do things for $5. They have people that would do things. Now, of course, $5, and then it's $5 more if you want it right away, and it's $5 if you want the extra, and it can run into, you know, but uh, a guy set this up for me, and actually he set it up in probably 30 minutes for me. And I paid him $10. I paid him 5 to do it, and $5 extra to put some links there. But I told him, hey, don't actually do the links. That's a little extra for you. And when he did such a great job here, I uh, actually left him a tip for $5. So for about $15... I got this set up today, and uh, it's very easy to do, but I have had a Amazon store with them since 2005, and I never got anything accomplished with it. Uh, I guess I was too busy uh, playing video games or in chats or uh, watching porn. Oops, I'm sorry, did I, did I say that out loud? Um, so, uh, now that with this store, with those links that I put before or that you'll still see, if you use that link and you go to Amazon, say it's a cat, say it's a radio or something, and, and I do a review of on in Amazon on, uh, YouTube of a, say a radio, and you click on it and you go there and you think, uh, no, I, I don't want that radio. And then you go someplace else while you're still linked in there. And you buy a big screen TV or a computer or a monitor or whatever. I get a commission. Now if you go there and you look at the radio and you uh, think, I, I think I'm going to go and check and see if uh, uh, New Egg has it cheaper or something. And you go over there and then you think, no, oh, same price. So I'll go back and get it at Amazon because they're so good about getting stuff shipped right away. And if you have a problem, you just they take care of it for you. So I'll go, I'll go back. Now, if you just click, if you just type in Amazon.com and you go there, when you buy something, I don't get any uh, credit for for the thing. But the reason I want to set this up and try to get you people, I'm not sure exactly how this is going to you know work, how I'm going to do it, but. If you click on here and you don't buy it, same thing, you know, say, say you come here and uh, you click on a camera and you go to Amazon 
it'll actually look like you're here, but it's Amazon, you know, so you click on, well, you click and you go to Amazon, anyway. Um, and then you think, eh, I don't think I'm going to buy that today. I'll get it on payday. Then you, you log out or whatever. Uh, this sets a cookie or whatever. So if, I don't know how long it is, but with these Amazon stores, if you come back next week or a couple weeks and you buy something else, I believe that I will get the commission. And that could be a big, that could help out a lot because, you know, uh, people, you know, you, you might click and go with the link underneath the YouTube video and then you don't, you leave. But with this, if you leave and then you come back within a certain amount of time. And uh, so anyway, I'm going to check that. We're going to be checking that out. So I'll be posting this link. Maybe I'll shorten it. Uh, I'm not sure what I'll do. If you have any ideas, leave a comment below. Um, so anyway, we're going to have this little contest coming up. Now, I mentioned this before in the other video, but I want to make it clear to you again. Uh, when I get $100 a month in commissions coming in, I'm going to have a contest every month. I'm not going to give away a $100 item. I mean, I'm, I might some time. It might be that uh, uh, it's a special, some special occasion, a holiday or something. You know, I reach uh, X number of, how many subscribers do I have now? That's not it. This is it. I have 2,000 uh, subscribers, a little bit over 2,000 subscribers. So when I get 5,000 subscribers, maybe that would be the time I would give away um, uh, there's, I have over a million views. Uh, maybe if I get two million views, or I, for some special occasion, there may be something, you know. Um, but I just want you to, I didn't want to mislead you on that. Uh, my goal right now is to get $100 in commissions and then have a contest every month. Uh, believe me, I'm not going to make it, I'm not going to say you have to. I'm not going to say, okay, you have to subscribe. You have to uh, click that you like something. You have to go and sign, uh, follow me on Twitter and follow me on Facebook. And I'm not going to do that kind of crap. It'll be something easy to do. But it may be a video that you have to watch. And it won't be, a, won't be one of my hour videos or whatever. It'll be a very short video. Uh, it'll, it'll be something I, that I like this something that I want to explain to you and that's the way to, to do it so it'll be easy don't worry about that I by the way have um, uh, before the first iPhone ever came out I uh, there was a contest online an online contest by a small site and I entered and I won it but they couldn't, you know, when the iPhones first came out, you, you just people couldn't get their hands on them. So those people finally contacted me and said, we, you know, Jim, we can't get an iPhone for you. Can we just give you cash? And I said, yes. And at the time I was a little bit disappointed, but I, I'm glad that happened because if I had, um, if I'd have got an iPhone, then I'm sure I would have wanted, I'd have been an iPhone person and I'd have wanted every time a new one came out and, Man, they're expensive. Um, but I did win, and I won, um, I forget what it was that I got, something fairly nice. It wasn't an iPhone or any, you know, an Android phone or anything. Uh, some guy on YouTube, and I forget now who it was, uh, reached some level of having subscribers. And... So he picked one person at random, and he picked me, notified me, hey, you won, you know, you won such and such. So people do, you know, people do win, and I've even won a few times. What's kind of aggravating is 
I don't think I do it, but a lot of people, a lot of you, just think that everybody is scamming you, everybody is crooked, everything is rigged. I'm not getting into politics, by the way. And and other things. I Before, the company before, the bank before uh, PayPal, was it called XCOM or something like that? When they first started up, it was like... Uh, you sign up and you get uh, $50 for free into your account. I forget the exact amount. It was a lot of money to me. And and if somebody signs up because of you, here's the link to use. If they sign up because of you, you get that amount of money again and they get the, the $50 or whatever. So I put the word out on my blog, which then got a lot of traffic and, and uh, doesn't anymore. Facebook has taken all that away. But I put the word out and a few people signed up, but people thought it was some type of a scam. Uh, then that they went out of business or PayPal took them over or something and PayPal did the very same thing. And there again, I can't remember, maybe you probably will, if you do, put it in the comments below because I can't remember what it was. Let's say it was $25. PayPal had the same thing, sign up, yourself you get $25 into your new account and uh, tell people and if they sign up because of you they get $25 and you get $25 and I put the word out and a few people signed up very few and uh, the thing with that iPhone when that I put when that site that I went to which did not get a lot of traffic it was brand new and I forget now what what it was about, but they said we're having this contest, and here's the rules. And uh, so I posted. To, I sent out whatever social. I don't think Twitter had been invented then. I don't know, but anyway, Facebook. I don't think it's been invented. But anyway, I uh, put the word out. Hey, you can win an iPhone. There are very few people going to this site. They're going to give away an iPhone. You should go over there. And I don't think anybody went over there from my blog. Nobody went over there. And so I won the iPhone. Uh, so, uh, and you know, even further back, and I think maybe my friend in Kansas City, Dick Williams, I think he was the one maybe that told me about domain names, or maybe I had a domain name, and maybe he, I think he told me I had some domain names, and I, and that was before the World Wide Web was invented, of course. I think what it was, he told me, hey, don't sell any of them. Well, anyway, I had the domain name of uh, hnb.com. I think I told you this story before. If you happen to know how much that I sold it, the, a representative of the bank, the Helena National Bank in Texas, I think it was. I think that's who it was. He contacted me. And I guess he was probably pretty clever. He contacted me and said, Hey, uh, I represent uh, such and such a bank, and we'd like to buy that domain name, and we will give you 50 bucks. And I said, Uh, Hell no! Are you? What are you crazy? I'm not going to sell that for fifty bucks. I would have to get at least. Uh, I would want five hundred dollars. And he sent me five hundred dollars. I, and actually, I think when I replied back, I said, you know, I forget it. I don't even want to hear from you again. <laughs> and, I, and I got a check or whatever, in the, you know, for five hundred dollars. Okay, I can always use money, so I sold it for five hundred dollars. Just think of that domain name. Houston National Bank, Helsinki National Bank. Oh man! And what I thought about later, wow, well, wow, what I, you know, years later, I thought, you know, because I've been, that's something when I'm on my deathbed, you know, I'm not going to be saying Rosebud. I'm going to be saying HNB.com. Uh, that people are going to be wondering. Well, if I don't say com, they'll be like HNB. HNB. What does he mean? Uh, later, I thought, you know what I should have bought was 
A and B. B, and you know, I should have just gone through the alphabet and purchased them all. And, uh, but, how did I, oh, anyway, the contest, so. Um, had several people, by the way. Uh, I've had several people recently. Every, you people are really nice to me, you really are. Because I go to other YouTube sites and I see comments left to, about people and attacks on people or whatever, and you really treat me nice, better than I deserve, and I do appreciate that. Uh, sometimes I, when I'm talking to my family or whatever, I, I say, oh, well, my fans or my fan or something like that, and they sort of snicker and laugh at me or whatever. And I really kind of regard you as friends, but I hate to say friends because that's even, you know. I mean, I've got 2,000 subscribers. I just don't think I can say, okay, I have, well, my 2,000 friends or, you know, so I say fans or something, and even that gets snickered at. But I do appreciate how kind you are to me. I know I don't deserve it. I'm a bad boy sometimes. Um, oh, I have had several people say to me, talk faster and don't repeat yourself. Okay, I'm too dumb and too slow to talk faster. But the repeating, i that's deliberate. And I hope you can put up, uh, put up with that because I've just, because I do get, I'll mention something, I'll mention things to people and not just online, but I'll mention things to people and uh, um, they'll say something, they'll like ask me a question or, or um, so I think you do, I think you do need to mention things and go back again maybe and and hit it again I'm you know I'm sorry uh, maybe a lot of you are really sharp although yeah, I don't think you'd be sharp if you were watching me but you may catch the thing right away and it may not be necessary to repeat it but believe me <laughs> you do need to repeat things to people um so, um, you know, when I, I cut my own hair with clippers, and I think I always, I think I always miss this spot. I'm, just, I'm not trying to have whatever you call that. This is the current keyboard you can see that I'm using. I keep going back to it, but I don't use the, it's a lighted keyboard also. I do like keyboards that have, this one just has like a scroll thing for the for the volume. Uh, that other keyboard that I do like, but the key, the, it's old. The, uh, I want to say Kenwood, but it's Logitech. That's it, I think. It has a nice round, two round knobs. One knob for the volume and one for the lighting. Um, see, I got two monitors. This is uh, Asus, and I've I put a link to it below. Hey, I put an Amazon link to it below. No, I should put that in the Amazon store because I'm going to modify that store a little bit, by the way, and Things that I've, re of course, it's going to be work going back and getting, but things that I've reviewed, oh, sorry, things that I've reviewed will be there, and then I can send you there, and because those items I can honestly speak up and say, hey, I know this is good. Um, so this is a nice monitor, really, and my grandson, my grown grandson, he's 26, I think. 
he's really sharp on computers and he got it from me I'm not sure uh, but um, he's really sharp on computers and but he never wants he wants to play games and uh, when he was living here he wanted to play games and it was hard for me to get him to give me some of that advice but and I asked him you know about hey I'm gonna buy a new monitor and of course he said oh well I'd like to have a monitor and he wanted one with like a thousand dollars or I don't know how much a lot you know cause, because it does and I don't understand any of what he was saying you know but anyway I got uh, this this monitor in and well one like this uh, identical to it I got it in and he came home from work and I said come and look at my new monitor he came in and he was wow I you know and he liked it so I gave it to him this is my third one I ordered in another one and gave it to my son grown son and so now I have this one I have this other one is a LG monitor and it's one of these long ones but they're kind of short and that really helps me with my with what I'm doing because I can have data over here and paste and move back and forth and I have my email running all the time or whatever else I want to run over there uh, the controls for the uh, this video that I'm making um, I'm using the Yeti microphone it's working okay now I'm actually glad I'm using it because if I was using one of those headsets that work really well in fact, actually, an inexpensive headset, if you're willing to wear the headset. As you know, I've done some reviews of those, and the audio is really great. But I'm glad I don't have one now, because I wouldn't be wearing it. Uh, here I have the Roku. Roku TV that you can see here. I think the the uh, I think I need to close the shades. This is on the west side. I think I think I'm actually getting too much light. So this time of the day, the, uh, the lighting would not be a good thing. See if that helps any. a little better isn't it uh, you know um, I really love ph photography when I was in grade school or whatever my father was a boiler maker and he was he worked in the field and he was in I think Iowa or the, the Union the boiler makers local 83 had four states Missouri Kansas Nebraska and I think Iowa I think that was it I actually was a member, actually went out on the field one time, but not uh, not in those four states because my dad but by that time was a union official and I would not ask him to do me a favor by putting me on a, a field out in the making more, you know. So I went to Pascagoula, Mississippi. Uh, but um, he occasionally would, there'd be somebody wanting to sell something and he'd bring it home when he came home because a lot of times he would be gone for like a week or you know and then go back for the more or whatever one and uh, he brought me a used Leica camera or whatever uh, an old one but used it worked and then uh, don't okay don't tell any of the pro gun people this I don't want this story out he brought me a 22 rifle that he bought, a used, you know, it was a used one. And uh, he got home, like, because he had to drive, you know, had to work Friday, I guess. And then when he got off, he had to, you know, drive back to Kansas City or whatever. So I was sleeping or whatever, and he woke me up to give me the 22 rifle. And I was so happy, and I got into bed with it. I went to sleep with a 22 rifle uh, but with the camera uh, I 
actually I remember now that camera we were watching TV and I forget the name this is back in black and white TV days and TV hadn't been out very long and there was a you may remember if you're an old person you may actually remember the TV show and uh, it was on every week with stuff and there was aliens that had a third eye up here but you could only see it if someone took a picture with a camera of it and so my dad had uh, brought it for me he was going to give it to me for some at a, an appropriate time like as a gift or whatever but he went and got it and gave it to me for that but I was always interested in hot photography and always been always in the old days I was always interested in uh, available light I hated using flash tried to avoid using flash hated it um, and then when color came around I used a little bit of color the back that you do know there was that you had to use film before yeah um, and it was expensive uh, to do color. So I've stayed mainly with, which I re regret, I stayed mainly and just took uh, black and white pictures and very rarely took color pictures. But I did buy good cameras and I had four kids and I think I passed on to all of my kids I know my oldest daughter, LaDonna, she got, you know, single lens reflex uh, camera, a nice one, one that's kind of like a, that a lot of people mention because they got to start on that too. And uh, passed on cameras to my other, to my other kids and I still do that. Well, not to, you know, not to, to my grandson and to my son that's living with me. Um, But I really love uh, photography, and of course, this is uh, this is a Logitech webcam USB. I think it's a C922, and then back here is the 4K Pro or whatever it's called, Logitech, and it's about 200, which is really more than. That's, I think I'd wait for the price to come down unless. But you know, I um, I mentioned this before also. I uh, uh, Panasonic. I like Panasonic now. I've had oh, if you watch my videos, I've had a ton of cameras. One week I got three cameras in. That was kind of a. I, well, if you know that story. Okay, I'll tell you the story. Uh, I have this trouble with uh, Amazon on the size of things. I look at it. Anyway, I ordered in a camera. And it was, I don't like small, it, it was a point and shoot camera and a nice one. I ordered it in. It was, I took pictures, I took great pictures. I ordered it in. But it was too small. I didn't want a camera that small. So I ordered in. Why did I order two? Anyway, I ordered in two more cameras they came I think the same day or whatever because I did I made the video of you see me opening them up and I go on up wait a minute this is the same size as this one different brand you know one's Canon and the other is I don't know who you know and then I opened up the other one and it, they were all the same size I gave them all away uh one of my sort of which I had hung on to because even now a lot of YouTubers when they're talking about cameras and they say okay for an inexpensive camera this is really nice I think the one I'm, uh, they had one that I think that's one maybe I think on the front of the camera was a little tiny screen that you and so when you took a picture if you were doing a selfie of yourself or whatever you could see it also the screen um, 
if you were taking a picture of a kid, a, a clown or whatever, something like that would pop up and uh, make the kid maybe smile or something. Uh, oh, but what I was gonna, gonna get at, um, recently I ordered in a Panasonic, which one was it, I forget. But, and I made a 4K, it did, it did 4K. And I like Panasonic cameras now. I've got two of them over there. Really like Panasonic. Some people, you know, that's a preference. Some people like Canon, some like Sony. I happen to like Panasonic. Although I, there's a bunch of Canon say, cameras I would love to have. Um, and I, some Panasonic that I, you know, higher end I'd love to, well, but anyway. But anyway, I ordered it in and because it had 4K, it had a, a few other nice features, and I was really happy to get it in, and I paid quite a bit of money for it, I think it's about 600 I think it was. To me, that's a lot of money. I see some people that are making YouTube videos and other videos, and they have cameras that are $1,000 or $4,000, and they are nice, and I would love to have them if I had the money. Uh, but anyway, I ordered it in. I made a 4K video with it, and had it about 28 or 29 days, and uh, it broke. I couldn't believe it. I mean, it. Uh, I turned it on, got an error message, and uh, anyway, Hi, Hillary. Hey. What's going on? I'm, out, I'm outside here with the Thomas cat, and he's healing. It's healing already. Oh, he great. <laughs> Medication must be working. I, I don't know. Would it work that fast? No, it, no. It looks so much better. It's scabbing over. Yeah. I don't understand. I think he's healing on his own. Yeah, I'm, making, I'm so. making a YouTube video, so why don't you come in here in a little bit when you're done with uh, Thomas. I'm not going to change my dressing, though. Oh, well, we really should. It's, yeah. it's important that you do that. Uh, today, it's, to do it today it's just going to be a one-time dressing change. So I'll see you in a little bit, okay? Okay, Doc, I'll see you then. Bye I'm going to come in and get his food now, so I'll okay. see you in a minute. Bye-bye. <laughs> Bye-bye. Bye -bye. Well, so anyway, I got, uh, so I sent it back, and they, even before they got it, they refunded my money. And... Then I forgot for like well, I think it was like a month or two later. Just and I did, I was on video too, and I and I'm making a video and talking with you. And and I wait a minute, I don't have a 4K camera, so I do need to get I do need to get a 4K camera. Anyway, I need to bring this to a conclusion. We've tested the lights. That backlight's going to work okay. I just may have to. Uh, and I oh, I did want to show you. That's what I got. I was, uh, see, what, let me change to the other camera. Yeah. You thought you were going to get off easy, didn't you? So you can see my two cameras over there. And you can see my two ham radios, which I do very little ham radio. And, of course, oh, I would love to have, there, there are some, those are like $100 a piece. Uh, for those ham radios, uh, but there are some that I there's you know one I would love to have that's about six hundred dollars. Got my printer down there, which uh, it's uh, I forget I can't Canon. It's a Canon printer. I very rarely use it, but my God, I'm I and I you should see I have like a desk drawer filled with uh, ink for it. Because every time I use it, I have to put a new ink cartridge in the uh, in the thing. I want to get a uh, toner one because I gave the toner one that I had to. Uh, where are you? How come you're not looking at me? I don't like people standing behind me looking at me. So um, I need to get a 4K camera. Um, whoop! Did I back up? <laughs> 
I want to get a different because this one I cannot figure out how to do Wi-Fi with it and there's I just want one that uses toner and uh, got it on my Amazon wish list and it supposedly is just very simple to I know this one should be but I'm stupid you know I'm not even my grandson couldn't get it working he didn't want to spend much time doing it even he couldn't get it hooked to the network but uh, I want to get one that uses toner because they print forever and uh, I also want to get one that's easily connected to the to the internet so um, I think that's it Thank you very much for watching. You didn't think I was going to stop, did you? I thought I was going to talk forever. <laughs>